What you gotta do is believe the Bible. See, the Bible gonna tell you, whoever keep a God low, believe what they say. Because that's who God is gonna give the understanding to. That's what I'm a, that's what the Bible said, that's what I'm gonna follow. To God. You're gonna burn in hell if you don't keep the commandments. That's what the Bible just said. Serving people are. But what happened is, is during our history, the Bible prophesied that we would go into slavery. Did you know that? Yes, I do. So you understand? I'm a big, I'm a big so you understand that God put us in slavery? Yeah. Why did God put us? Why did God send God, us into slavery? God didn't do it. Man said, had a man doing it. Why God did it? Oh, oh. We're about to show it to you. All right, because you gotta understand all things God controls, and we're gonna show you why we went into this slavery. Give it out of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So, do you know who this is talking to? Who is this speaking to? And who is who is who is this who is speaking this word to us? Give it out of Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. You know Moses, right? You said you're a deacon, so I know you know Moses. This is Moses speaking. But we're going to show you who Moses is speaking to right here, okay? Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Read. These be the words which Moses spake. Who spoke these words? Moses spake. Moses spoke these words. You understand that now? Read. Unto all Israel. Moses was speaking these words to all Israel. Israel is the people God delivered from the hand of Pharaoh. Right. Moses said, let my people go, because we're being oppressed. Give me that uh, Exodus. Exodus chapter 1, and verse like, what is it, 22? They served with, with brigands. They, 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 they had us in a hard bondage. You understand that, my brother? And God, God had to send Moses to, to, to deliver us. And it's the same times we're living in right now, man. Read. Exodus chapter 1 verse 13 okay. and the Egyptians so the Egyptians you familiar with the Egyptian people right you understand they're dark-skinned people just like us but we ain't the same people okay. and the Egyptians uh -huh. made the children of Israel to serve with rigor you hear that yeah. they made us serve with to serve with rigor you understand just like how our oppressors did us here in America. Right. They made us to serve with rigor. It's a cotton fields down there when you know what I'm saying, you driving down South Georgia, and you know what I'm saying, driving through the, uh, through the countryside, you see still cotton fields up there. Right. But at one point in time, our ancestors were serving in hard bondage, picking up cotton from sun up to sundown. My dad is the Your dad and your father, right. You know, you see like you must have been around the time of the uh, black codes, Jim Crow, around that era, ain't it? All right, but this is go back to Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These were the words that Moses, that God gave Moses to speak unto us as his people. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So all Israel, Israel, the people of Israel today, they don't call themselves Israel. And you got to understand why. Because you remember during slavery? Remember, they, they stripped us of everything we own. They stripped us of our heritage, our, our, our culture, our, 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 our laws. You understand that, my brother? Our language, you know, everything that we had that made us who we were as a people, they took it away from us. Thomasville? Tellerville. Tellerville, Georgia. Oh, okay. We left one night. And, uh, they tried to catch him, they never took pictures. Mm -hmm. When he found himself... Come up here real quick, man. Oh, no. I want to show you something, huh? When he found himself, he found himself in Leesburg. Mm -hmm. Leesburg, 
Right. Okay. And now, that's where you met my mother, man. Hey, what's happening, man? Salam, salam. How y'all doing? Doing all right, bro. So, what we're going over is, why is it that the people of God today don't know who they are? Right. We don't know who we are because of, uh, it's our fault. So it's our fault that we don't know who we are? Yeah. It's our fault. It's our answer, you know. We don't know who we are because of, our parents don't know who they are because they, you know, it, it's a curse really what's going on. The continuous cycle with the time. Yeah, like, uh, okay, in the book of Deuteronomy 28, it breaks down on what happened to the Israelites. You know. So you sound, hey, what's that? Hey, I, I didn't get your name, bro. I'm Eliezer. What's your name, man? Peace. Peace. Hey, Peace. So, so you sound like you know a little something about these scriptures. You understand? So you understand you an Israelite. Yeah, I am. So what tribe are you from? The tribe of Judah. Yeah, you from the tribe of Judah, right? Yes, sir. So, all right, that's cool. So my, my brother, what's your name again? Richard. You go by Richard? My brother Richard right here, he's just now learning this. You feel me? We're trying to show him what happened to God's people. Because the, today, the Amer African Americans, they that's not their that's not their true name. Uh, your your biblical name, if you cons consider yourself an African American, is Judah. You understand? Right. God gave the African Americans the name Judah to be called by. You understand? And it goes down the list. You got uh so-called Jamaicans. God ain't never give these people this name. The white man did. You understand? Uh, when he I made us slaves, it. he gave us his his he gave us his own names. Let's get that. Let's get the curse of Deuteronomy 28 verse 37. Because ultimately, God brought these judgments on us because we disobeyed him. He told us, hey, he going to make sure, he going to destroy us as a people if we went against him. Because he the one who made us who we were. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Hey, listen close. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So the Bible said that we will become an astonishment. You got to think about it. An astonishment, that's something that surprised you. Like, damn, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes you shake your head. Like, that's a damn shame. Like a proper. You understand that? Because you got to think about it. One point in time, we was royalty. One point in time, we was the ruling nation. You know, everybody want to be like the white people, want to be around white people, want to be with the white people, right? Because they, they got everything, they running everything, they owning everything. Black people, we don't try to stay in the hoods. We try to move to where the white people at. You understand that? We trying to have what the white people have. Guess why? Because right now, they at the top, and we at the bottom. But... It was a point in time where all the nations, they looked up to us and they tried to follow us and everything we once did. You feel me, bro? But we became, we're in astonishment right now. So when you turn on the TV, guess what all you see? You see society making a mockery of the blacks and Hispanics. You understand that, bro? Just the black people, I don't agree with the Hispanic part. I disagree with that. You disagree with Hispanics? I disagree with that one. So you don't think them are brothers? Man, all of Israel is black. They Negroes. So, 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 it seems like... According to, to the book, according to the book... What you got? I read the book of Ezra, in the book of Ezra. Yeah. It talks about in the last days, in the last days, the, uh, the most high kids, they were going to be in Arsenal. I do, I do, I do research myself. I be studying about the bad two. All uh, right, so listen, listen close there. I see, I'm letting you talk a whole lot, bro. So, what I'm going to tell you is, how could you prove, according to the scriptures, that the Hispanic people ain't the Israelites? I cannot prove. Yeah, what's, what's your proof? Because we, I'm going to show you something real quick, right? Give me uh, uh, Jeremiah 50, verse 33. I'm going to show you something, bro. I know that is this. Because how, how we prove who's Israel? Native American, they do not have woolly health mm -hmm. like the Israelites. They have so, scrapes. So, so, so how do you prove the Israelites are who they are? Through the book. No, because you just said Native Americans don't have woolly hair. They don't have woolly hair like we do. So give me that in Deuteronomy chapter 28. And verse 47. Native American this is how we hair. prove who the Israelites are, peace. We about to show it to you, bro. Pay attention. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Because thou servest not. Verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So what is that that this scripture is talking about right here? Hold on. Read all of that to me. I need all of it. When you read something, I want you to read all of it. Hey, that's what we're going to do. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't. We... Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. I got you, I got you, bro. How about this? Take, I, I want to show you something. Hey, give me um, Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 1. I want to show you something, bro. I want to show you something. Listen to what the scriptures say. I'm going to break something down for you, and I want you to humble down to what the scriptures say, all right? Because I don't want you to think I'm right. I don't want you to think you're right. Let's say the scriptures are right. Read that. Ecclesiastes 
chapter 5, verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of food. God say, when you come, when you come to learn something, and it say, be ready to listen, that's how you learn. You can't learn if you're talking all the time. Watch this. Give me the Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12. And this is love right here. See, this ain't me trying to attack you because I like the fact that you came up here with a little knowledge. I'm going to add to your knowledge, okay? So when you walk away from here, that little knowledge you had going to be a little bigger knowledge, okay? That's called iron sharpening iron. I got you, bro. It's all love. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12. For when the time, for when, for the time ye ought to be teaching. Right now, you got a little knowledge. In your mind, you can't tell me you don't think you can teach somebody, right? I can't teach but, but, so I, I got to live it first before you teach. But the Bible it, say this. Listen, listen at this. Listen at this. Listen at the Bible. A teacher, and you're not doing the will of God, if you teach it and you out here breaking the commandment, you will be called me in the kingdom of heaven. I agree with you on that. that. Now watch this. I listen to what the scripture say. For when, for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again. What does it say? Ye have need that one teach you again. So you already got a little knowledge. And a little bit of your knowledge ain't right, but it's okay. Because you can be taught again. You can continue to grow on what you already got. The one thing you know is we're supposed to keep God's commandments. Now, I'm going to show you something else. Give me Sirach. Give me Sirach chapter 11, verse 21. I'm going to show you something to add to how do you know who knows what. Because got one teacher, man. Watch this. And that's Christ. Jesus said he is Christ is your teacher, we'll, 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 we'll touch that in a minute, but watch this. Ecclesiasticus chapter 21, verse 11. He that keepeth the law of the Lord, getteth the understanding thereof. So you coming over here telling him he was wrong about understanding if the um, Hispanics are a part of 12 tribes, right? I Hold on, I, I, that's a simple question. <laughs> yes or no, was that what you're telling him? He was wrong, right? I said I disagree with him. Okay, but listen to what the scriptures say. He that keepeth the law of the Lord, getteth the understanding thereof. So who do you think got the understanding? Okay, I agree. Whoever, what did that scripture say? The law ain't got nothing to do with this. That got, that get, that whoever that keeping the law said, that's who gets the understanding. Right. That's who you probably want to follow. I'm going to give you a law you breaking right now. Watch this. Give me, give me, uh, uh, um, Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Oh, Break it it's out. Okay, open the show it to you, bro. All praise be to the most high. God. What you got to do is bleed the Bible. See, the Bible going to tell you, whoever keeping God's law, believe what they say. Right. Because that's who God is going to give the understanding to. That's what, I'm a, that's what the Bible said. That's what I'm going to follow. Right. Watch this. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. Who are we? The children of Israel. So he's talking to us, right? I agree with Watch that. this. Agree. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. What is that? What you got on now? So why don't you have it on? Okay, and that's showing you who's going to have the understanding, read. Throughout their generation. Hold on, how long? Throughout their generation. How long? Throughout their generation. See, if you want to get that full understanding, you got to be fully with God. Right. Like you said, you, you, you say Christ teach you. Christ ain't dealing with you if you ain't keeping all his commandments. Yes, Christ. Right. He ain't going to... Give me the hell for not Give me, um, not give me that Zephaniah. Zep 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 Watch this. Watch this. Because the God you serve is Satan. Satan will send you to hell for no reason. Satan don't need a reason to send you to hell. No. Watch what the Bible say, brother. How y'all doing, bro? Watch this. Zephaniah. I'm going to prove you wrong. Now, this, hey, hey, my brother. Did you just hear him say God would not punish him for the clothes he got on, right? Watch this scripture here. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. So when Christ come back, when Christ return, that I will punish. What are you going to do? That I will punish the princes and the king's children. What, what, why? And all such as are clothed. That are what? That are clothed. That are what? Which are clothed with strange apparel. So everybody that's dressed weird to God. So everybody that's out here that's not God is free. We all going You're to gonna burn in hell if hey, you don't hey, keep the commandments. I'm that's going. what the Bible just said. Hey, See hey, what you're trying I'm to do. Glad you just told no, where I'm going. I want you to understand. Nobody if you don't repent, no. hold on, read it again. Y'all And it shall come to pass. In you say you believe in Christ, right? No, I'm reading the Bible, bro. I'm gonna read the Bible. Watch this. And it shall come to pass. This, this say it's gonna happen. It don't say I think it's gonna happen. Read it again. 
and it shall come to pass. I want you to pay attention, my brother. This brother said he followed Christ, but as I read the Bible, he go against the Bible. I just want to show you his spirit. Read this. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. This Bible says this is what's going to happen. That I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such. And how many such? And all such. And the fruit such. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. God only gave us one or two laws in, in, in regards to how do we dress. Wow. He told us don't mix fabrics. He told the men to wear pants and put fringes on. Told our women to wear dresses and don't wear revealing clothes and put fringes on. Those are the few laws he gave us about dressing. So when he comes back and you're not following that, wow. give me Matthew uh, 5 verse 19. Let's see if the Bible says that I'm, a follow, I'm following Christ, but I ain't doing what Christ say do. I'm, I'm reading what the scriptures say, and he says, God ain't going to punish us for clothing. Did you hear that? What, did God say he's going to punish those who dress uh, in strange apparel? Watch this. Matthew but, chapter 5 and verse 19. So yeah. this is what I told you. You don't need to be teaching nobody till you learn first. Right. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. In his mind, he said, I don't think God will punish me for clothing. That's a little commandment to him. That's but the Bible old, says, baby. whoever break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so. How do you That's teach man? Testament. Because you walk, this, this New Testament right here. This New Testament. New the, Testament. This is New Testament. This is Christ talking. Oh, he said, whoever break one of these least commandments from the Old Testament, read. And shall teach men so. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. That's from the mouth of Christ himself. Yo, Give me John chapter 14 verse 21. I'm going to show you about the Jesus that you say you follow. The Jesus that you say you follow. Hey, it's a pit bull right there. Read it. John chapter 14 verse 21 He that hath my commandments and keepeth them One of his commandments is we should have friends on our clothes The Bible says whoever hath my commandments and keep them read And he that hath my commandments and keepeth them He it is that loveth me Uh oh Who loves Christ my brother? Who, who, who did the Bible say Christ loves Christ? Read it again. Bring it out. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. Christ is making it very clear. With your mouth you can say what you want, but the only way you can say you love Christ is when you hear a commandment, you keep a commandment. That's and that's right. what we're trying to teach you, my brother. All these words don't mean nothing if you're not going to follow what the Bible said. Right. Like I was showing you over there. Would you be okay with somebody sleeping with your wife? No, you wouldn't. That's a commandment. You shouldn't be okay with somebody not wearing fringes. Wow. Give me that in Matthew chapter 9, verse 20. Let's see if Christ wore fringes. Matthew chapter 9, verse 20. Let's see if Christ wore them, because we're supposed to walk like Christ, right? Let's see. Give me the oil of our Matthew, Matthew chapter 9, verse 20. And behold, a woman which was diseased in, with an issue of blood, 12 years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. So it was a woman who had a, uh, she couldn't stop bleeding. She had an issue of blood for years and she touched the hem of Christ's garment. Let's see what the hem is. This is the Zonovan Bible, Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary definition of hem of a garment. Fringes. Hold on, what? Fringes. What is it called? Fringes or tassels. That's what she touched on Christ. She touched Christ's fringes. Read it again. Matthew chapter 9, verse 21. Oh, not 21. Nine, verse 20. Verse 20. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood, 12 years, came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. So a woman realized Christ over there with friends is on. That means I know he's keeping the commandments. Let me touch that hem and I know I'll be healed. Wow. Let's see what happens. Verse 21. For she said within herself, if I may touch his garment, I shall be whole. So she touched the fringes of his garment. Give me that in Peter where it said we must be like Christ. So I'm going to show you. This is what we're supposed to be striving for. Exactly how Christ walked this earth, my brother. That's what we got to do. It's nothing wrong with not understanding. But you, your problem is you think you know it and you don't. It's okay. We all been there. That's called pride. And that's one thing God hates. You know what pride is according to the Bible. I ain't talking about the pride of I'm proud to be an Israelite. I ain't talking about proud like I'm proud that I, I, I'm, I'm walking here and I got the mobility of my limbs. Pride is when you go against the commandments of God. When you hear this Bible, don't ever go against the Bible. That's called pride that God hates. Watch this. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 21. For even hereunto were ye called, 
because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. So did we not just read Christ had on fringes? Bring it on. Yes, Christ had on fringes, so what should we have on? Bring it on. So I got a question. What's your question? First, first answer the question. You can't skip a question with a question. Dude, what must we have on if Christ wore fringes? Hold on. If, if Christ wore fringes, what should we have on? You got to go? All right. All right, well, before you go, let me at least show you, let me at least show you what we must do before you leave. Give me Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Because overall, this is the message that we're teaching our people. Our people have been engulfed in, in Christianity. We've been engulfed in Islam. We've been engulfed in all of these religions, but no religion is telling us what Christ said do. Read that. The book of Acts, chapter three and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. The Bible said we must repent and be converted that our sins be blotted out. What is sin, my brother? Cause you finna go to Bible study, right? So I'm assuming if you're studying the Bible, you know what sin is, correct? What is sin? What, what is that? If I, if I have no idea what God told us to do, what is sin? So you can explain. Hold on, I, I want him to answer. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. I want him to answer because he the one go to the Christian church. I want to show him they're not teaching me. I got you. I'm going to deal with you. I ain't forgot about you. I'm not going to forget about you. I just want to show him because he's going to go to Bible study. I want to show him they're not teaching him the Bible. So what is sin? I'm a man. I'm told what a male told how I agree with you. That's a portion of sin. That's a part of sin. Let me give you the definition of sin. Give me that. First John chapter 3, verse 4. This is the definition of sin. Don't go nowhere, my brother. I'm dealing with you, man. I thought we were brothers. Okay, well, let's deal for a minute. How y'all doing, man? First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. So God gave us laws throughout this Bible, like fringes. That's a law. God gave us laws. Don't shave your beard. God gave us laws. Um, make sure um, if, if you sleep with a woman, you must marry a woman. Hold on, I got you. I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna answer, I'm gonna answer your question. But God gave us laws. Whenever you break those laws, that's called sin. But guess what? The church don't teach. You go to Bible study. I'm pretty sure every week. But guess what? They don't teach you God's laws. What is the Sabbath day according to the Bible? Watch this. Exodus 28. I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you one law that that you don't even know. I'm gonna listen to you, bro. I'm gonna answer your question, but I I, I just wanna get him because he's gonna leave. See, he's about to leave. I got you. No, you got you got time with him, man. Deal with him. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. Hold on, what's the Sabbath day? What's the Sabbath day? What day, what day do they go to church on? They go to church on Sunday. Let's see if that's according to the Bible. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day, the seventh day. What number is that? He just said. The seventh, that after six, right? So read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. What's the first day of the week? Sunday is the first day of the week. What day you say they go to church on? The Bible say which day is the Sabbath day? It say the seventh day. So if Sunday is the first day, what's the seventh day? Saturday. Saturday. Even a child understands that. Well, it's that read. simple. I, I, I don't care. I go with what the Bible says. Read it again. Tell you what the Bible says. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It's what day is the seventh day? The, the Sabbath starts Friday night fall. But that's, that's how God fall. count the days. Right. God count the days from even to even. So you ain't saying nothing special. It starts Friday at sundown yeah. till Saturday at sundown. Yes. That's called the Sabbath day, right. Saturday. Oh, yeah, so, so yeah, the Saturday so starts at Friday, Friday sundown. Yeah, so it's not Saturday. So that is Saturday. You're trying to be confused. You're trying to be no, deep. I'm being, no, I'm being true. All right, honey. but hold on. Let me teach my people because my people yeah. going to church on but Sundays and what you're doing. Me, if you got to go, bro, you got to go. I was going to answer your but question. Lord, oh, All right, but you have a good one, man. Hey, brothers, who is this right here, man? Who is that, who is that man? That's Jesus. Who is that? That's Jesus. Okay, see? Now, I want you to think about this. You go to you go to Sunday school and, and Bible study every week, right? And you still believe that this is Jesus right here. I want you to take this to your Bible study. Give me Matthew 4, 24 and 4. And then go to Revelation. I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to show y'all something real clear. And I want y'all to tell me, did I make this up? Or is this, is this what the Bible says? 
The book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said, And who? And Jesus answered and said unto them. So who's talking right here? Jesus. This is Jesus talking right here. Let's see what Jesus warned us about. Take heed that no man deceive you. Deceive me, trick you, lie to you. He said, take heed, lest no man deceive you. Don't let nobody lie to you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Christ gave us a warning. There was going to be people saying that they are Christ, and they're going to deceive many. That means they're going to fool many people. If you ask 90% of the black community, they're going to tell you that's Christ. So let's see what Christ looked like in the Bible, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the description of Christ, and I want y'all to tell me do it sound like that man y'all just told me was Jesus. Get, this is the last scripture, last scripture. Revelation 1 to 14. Last scripture, last scripture. I want you to tell me do this sound like the Christ that you just told me that is. Because this is the description of Christ in the Bible. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So we're going to reveal what Jesus Christ looked like. Read verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What color did they say Christ's hair is? What color did they say Christ is white? Like your hair. Your hair is white. Christ's hair is the same color as your hair. Right. His hair ain't white. Right. And they say Christ's hair looks like wool. Bring Who got out. woolly hair on planet Earth? Who hair looks like wool, like sheep hair? Yeah. Our hair. That's right. So I want you to pay attention. This ain't the description that we're reading, Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool, right. as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank wine. When we drank wine, the white of our eyes turned red. Watch this part here, though. And his feet. Uh oh, now we're talking about skin. Let's see what color Christ's skin was, read. And his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. When you burn white rice, what color does it turn? When you, when you burn white rice, it turns red? It turns black. Yes. So, what color are they tell you Jesus the Christ is? He's a black man. Yes. We have been lied to, sir. Your Christian church is not teaching you the Bible. They're teaching you white supremacy. So what we're out here doing is showing our people, up under white supremacy, you call the African American. Up under the Bible, you are called the Israelite, sir. Just so you know, where you finna go, you're not gonna learn nothing. You're gonna learn lies day in and day out. You're gonna pray to another Jesus. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support.